What happens when a soldier hears a strange noise coming from the forest? Curiosity gets the better of him, and as he ventures to investigate, he stumbles upon something so unexpected, it leaves everyone in shock. In a war-ravaged city near a small village in South Sudan, Sergeant Edward Jones was leading his troops on a routine patrol. The area was fraught with danger, the aftermath of constant fighting and unrest. As they cautiously moved through the desolate landscape, something caught Sergeant Jones' eye. Hidden in the tall grass was a small, frail baby lion. The cub, looking both hungry and terrified, let out soft, pitiful cries that pierced the air. Although lions are known to be dangerous, especially in the wild, Sergeant Jones felt an unexpected sense of compassion toward the helpless cub. Despite the risks, he couldn't ignore its frail state and decided he had to help. The baby lion was clearly sick, and Jones resolved to care for her until she recovered. He named her Leah, meaning lucky, as he felt fortunate to have stumbled upon her. As he looked after the cub, Jones couldn't help but be reminded of his old cat, Cleo, back home, noticing the striking similarities between the two. So, Jones decided to look after the baby lion for a while until she got healthier. After that, he thought about helping her find her family. The plan wasn't perfect, but the caring soldier was more worried about the lion's well-being than coming up with a better idea. Sergeant Jones began taking care of the lion and built a special bond with her. Even though they were going through tough times in the war zone, life was hard, with not enough food and always facing danger, but Jones was determined to keep Leah safe and well. They went through a lot together, forming a strong bond that even touched the other soldiers. Lee became a symbol of hope in a place filled with darkness. Their days were full of fun, friendship, and Jones' strong commitment to taking care of Leah. He made sure to find food for her in the barren land, always returning with something. Despite the tough times, Lee got healthier and turned from a weak cub into a lively young lion. Sadly, things took a tragic turn when Jones had to go to a different military base. This meant he had to leave Leah behind. It was a heartbreaking time for both of them, and Jones really wanted to take Leah with him or find a safe place for her, but the military rules made it impossible. With tears, they had to say goodbye to each other. Then, after three weeks, something unexpected happened. One of the soldiers in the camp heard the news that Sergeant Jones had passed away while protecting his friends during a surprise attack. This revelation brought a profound sense of sadness to the military and everyone experienced a deep sense of loss. Even Leah, who was some distance away from the camp, exhibited signs of being upset and mourning, evidently feeling a strong connection with Sergeant Jones. When Donna Moore, Sergeant Jones' wife, received Jones's last letter, she learned about her late husband's special connection with the young lioness. Sergeant Christopher really loved the lioness, which made Donna want to meet her too. Even though Sergeant Jones had passed away, Donna wanted to honor his memory by visiting his old base. One sweltering afternoon, Sergeant Jones' old comrades arranged for a truck to bring Leah, the lioness, to meet Donna. As soon as Leah saw Donna, she became excited and lovingly licked her face, recognizing Sergeant Jones's familiar scent on her clothes. The soldiers shared heartfelt stories about how deeply Jones cared for Leah and his hope for her to find a loving home. Hearing about her late husband's compassion for a wild animal moved Donna to tears. Reflecting on Sergeant Jones' wish for Leah to have a family and be with other lions, Donna decided to share their remarkable bond with the world. She posted the story online, touching the hearts of many with the tale of Sergeant Jones and Leah's unique friendship. The story soon reached Bandung Gillo National Park, which offered Leah a new home among fellow lions. Donna gladly accepted and remained by Leah's side throughout the entire transition. At the reserve, Leah was given a new beginning and slowly began to heal from the grief she had endured. For Donna, it brought a deep sense of peace, knowing that her husband's beloved companion now had the opportunity to live a happy and fulfilling life. What an incredible story! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video!